15 a performance out there you probably enjoyed from the team to be a part of getting on the ball creating chances and getting on the front foot just how pleased are you with the, the rewards for that being three points yeah buzzing um, we went in at half time feeling that we were the better side and the goal was coming it was just about keeping on the ball moving them fast and then the chance to open up and then obviously the red card going to help you in, in situations like that when a team goes man down it's going to be harder for them to work it so it was just about being patient waiting for the chance and then luckily enough we've scored quite soon after the red card and then after that I think we could easily in the type of games it can be harder sometimes to break down 10 men and they can hit you in the counter but I feel like we really got a foot on the ball and dominated the game Yeah, and how was it for you out there in that first half because like you say well, we're creating chances but not quite getting the rewards so what was the message in there at half time the gaffer spoke about players standing up and making sure their heads didn't drop yeah I loved it um, it's been quite consistent throughout the, over the last few games uh, all the games I'm actually really enjoying it's the most I've enjoyed my football in a long time um, and you can see that throughout the team and I think that's that's where the confidence is coming from we're all enjoying playing each other, we all know each other's capabilities and I think there's a real belief in the squad that, that we can go on and achieve great things this season if we just keep sticking at it even even some of the results that haven't went our way we feel that like we could easily in another day win the game so it just shows that we're playing with a style of play and all the boys understand each other's roles and we're all enjoying it Yeah, and obviously alongside Stephen Dooley as well who you played quite a lot of football with your understanding must be growing with him every game. Yeah, um, I sp- touched on it uh, a few interviews ago. Uh, credit to those for the injury they had, the coming back into the team, he's been brilliant for us. And like you said, building relationships on a pitch is key. So you start getting an understanding how players play, whereabouts they move in the pitch, and it's only going to benefit you as a team. But looking at that as well, it's a squad game. You look at the boys coming off the bench, again, playing a big impact on the, the way we play. And we need we need everyone. It's a long season, a lot of games, so we need everyone on board. And I think that's that's one of the key things for us this season is everyone has bought in it. And like I said, the morale is high throughout the full squad. Yeah, and obviously at times in the first half we were being pressed pretty well before this game. But is it testament to the sort of belief and the, the sort of confidence in the squad to be able to play through that and and get on the front foot, you know, so often? Yeah, definitely. We worked on it in training, and it comes from above the gaffer, thurs working on it in training telling us that we've got that freedom to go take risks we're going to give away the ball we're only human that, that, that's a fact but if we just keep at it keep at it we're, we know we're good enough to break down teams and especially a team like that they're on the front foot pressing us but you've seen a few times we pop it we get out and then we get the reward and then yeah and Jack Wooden's goal as well did you really sense that was a, a sort of stepping stone to, to kick on and, and grab that game by the scuff of the neck yeah definitely comes at a good time like I touched on right after the red card because Again, it can be sticky games where they sit in, they're going to be two blocks in front and it's hard to break down teams. You start sometimes just hitting shots, hoping, whereas luckily enough we get that soon. So it really opens them up because if they want something out of the game, they need to they come out and try to get a goal back and it's only going to benefit us. Yeah, and Abraham Odo as well, a player I know you're close to, so how pleased are you for him to get yet another goal, which his performance probably deserved the way he caused problems? Yeah, delighted from, uh, you see it in the last game as well, he gets his goal and he deserves that as well. Again, it's, it's a confidence thing. I've always been a big believer in football that there's no really such thing as a bad football player it's just about confidence and your own belief it's a game of opinion so whereas some people might think like nah they're not playing well whatever all it takes is one or two results and it flips the confidence beams through the team and the performances start getting better and better and you just build on it yeah the game obviously had a couple of chances at 2-0 but what do you think of the sort of con- concentration there to, to get on the ball you know stop take the stem out of their attacks and, and really Keep in that driving seat when, when it could have gone either way at one point. Yeah, it's massive in these types of games where you've got a back four that are always switched on organising because you sometimes end up committing too many bodies. Everyone's wanting a goal, everyone's wanting to join in, and it, it leaves you a wee bit exposed at the back. But even in the first half, I need to mention for Ant's tackle, it's, it's massive for us because we're on the up, they get one chance, break through the ball, and it's a massive tackle on the box, and these things decide games. So credit to the, the back four. And finally, Grimsby were coming up. Do you think we're confident that we're capable of, of kicking it up again and, and adding to the sort of quality shown here? Yeah, well, obviously we played them earlier in the season and we took three points at their place, so we want to build on that. No game in this league's easy. You see it all the time with the results when you're checking. It, anyone could beat anyone, so we know we need to be right on top of our game and hopefully we can build it on and really kick on. Perfect, Dean. Thank you. Thank you.